David Pecker, a longtime friend of Trump and the former publisher of the National Enquirer, back on the stand testifying that he was the eyes and ears of the Trump campaign ahead of the 2016 election. Pecker testifying that he told Trump and Cohen, if I hear anything about women selling stories, I would notify Michael Cohen. Of course, what David Pecker is saying on the stand was something Donald Trump never wanted anybody to know. That any time a damaging story came to his attention via other sources or from Donald Trump or Michael Cohen, he was in agreement that he would catch those stories, kill them, pay the person off and make it go away. Trump shaking his head in court as Pecker testified about a false story from a Trump Tower doorman in 2015, claiming Trump fathered an illegitimate child with a maid at the building. Pecker testifying he ultimately bought the story for $30,000, even though Michael Cohen was adamant it wasn't true. Prosecutors say Pecker told Trump that adult film actress Stormy Daniels had a story that could turn into a sex scandal. At Trump's direction, prosecutors say his fixer Michael Cohen wired Daniels $130,000 and then, to hide the true nature of the payment, Trump allegedly decided Cohen's reimbursements should be recorded as legal services. Pecker also allegedly promising to publish positive stories about Mr. Trump and publish negative stories about his opponents. Pecker says prior to the election, his magazines never caught and killed any stories for Trump. Trump has denied any sexual relationship with Daniels and has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records. Trump slamming the case outside of court. We have a gang Order, which to me is totally unconstitutional. I'm not allowed to talk, but people are allowed to talk about me. That was Rena Roy reporting, and that gag order Trump is talking about, prosecutors have accused of him violating it. The judge held a contempt hearing on Tuesday morning that got heated, ultimately saying he would not rule from the bench. Former President Trump is due back in court until Friday for this case. But he has a lot on the line Thursday when the Supreme Court considers his claim of presidential immunity. Defense attorneys claim he cannot be prosecuted for actions committed in office, including federal charges that he tried to overturn the election. The justices have scheduled a special session, and depending how they rule, it could force Mr. Trump to stand trial or dismiss several charges against him. Not